Two of the most common ways to simplify exponent problems are by using the product rule and the quotient rule. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the quotient rule to simplify these problems and also why it works. Uh, the quotient, by the way, is, if you don't remember, is the answer that you get when you are doing a division problem. So in order to use this quotient rule, we have to start with some sort of a division problem. And in this case, we have 9 to the 8th power divided by 9 to the 6th power. So in order to solve this first, before we start to use the quotient rule, I'd like to show you why it works. So let's start by writing 9 to the 8th power in expanded form. 9 to the 8th power means we're just going to multiply 9 uh, by itself over and over again. We're going to do it 8 times. So this first one here, 9 to the 8th power, would just be 9 times 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 9. Let's make sure that's right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's 9 to the 8th power. Let's write the bottom, the denominator, in expanded form. This is 9 to the 6th power, so there will be 6 9's multiplied together. So this is going to be 9 times 9 times 9 times 9 times 9 times 9. 9 to the 6th power would be 9 multiplied by itself 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. Okay, how is that helping us? Now that we have this written out in expanded form, it's, we've got multiplication on the top, we've got division on the bottom. And what we can do now is see that we have 9, in addition to 9 multiplied across the top, we have 9 divided by 9 um, on this side. So what is 9 divided by 9? If we cancel, if we do that division, 9 divided by 9 is simply equal to 1 it cancels itself out. So 9 divided by 9 would just become 1 over 1. And in the same way, 9 divided by 9 cancels itself out there. It cancels itself out there. That 9 divided by 9 will cancel. This 9 divided by 9 cancels. And this 9 divided by 9 cancels. So those problems all become 9 divided by 9 is equal to 1 in every case. So this is 1 over 1, 1 over 1, 1 over 1, 1 over 1, 1 over 1. What's left? Well, across the top, we've got 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 9 times 9. So all of those ones multiplied together just stay one that doesn't really change anything and across the top we have nine times nine so we have two nines multiplied together that would be equal to nine to the second power across the bottom one times one times one times one times one that just all stays one and so this finally reduces to nine squared divided by one is just simply nine squared so when we Write this out in expanded form, 9 to the 8th power divided by 9 to the 6th power. When we cancel all the 9's that are directly above and below one another through division, 9 divided by 9 always equals to 1. We're left with just two 9's on top, no 9's on the bottom, which is just 9 squared. And you might think, hey, 9 to the 8th power, 9 to the 6th power down here, and we have an exponent of 2 over here, are we just subtracting them? And if you notice that, you would be exactly right. In a problem like this, all you really need to do is say, okay, 9 to the 8th power over 9 to the 6th power is going to simplify to 9 to the 8 minus 6 power, which is just going to be 9 to the 2nd power. So, once you know that rule, it becomes much quicker and easier to do some of these problems. Uh, but I wanted to show you why this works. I don't like just having a rule that I memorize and without knowing why. So I think the understanding is pretty important. These are canceling out, leaving us with fewer nines in the problem, so we're going to do some subtraction. 
Another thing to remember though, in order to use the quotient rule, the bases have to be the same. If the base of the number up here in the numerator is 9, the base down here also has to be 9. If the bases are different, you can't do the problem. So let's do the remaining problems here. 15 to the 20th power divided by 15 to the 14th power. If we use our uh, quotient rule, we're just going to have the problem simplified to 15 to the 20 minus 14 power, which is equal to 15 to the 6th power. Now the problem is a lot shorter, a lot simpler. How about this one? Now we don't have numbers in the bases, we just have a variable, a letter, the letter A. No problem, the quotient rule still works. As long as the letter is the same letter, the base is still the same, you can still use it. So A to the 5th divided by A to the 2nd power is going to be A to the 5th minus 2nd power which is going to be equal to a to the third power. And finally, we get an ugly problem like this one. You can still use the quotient rule to simplify it, to make it look a lot nicer, a lot prettier. We've got an a to the tenth power on the top and a to the second power on the bottom. Just use the quotient rule on the a's, use the qu quotient rule on the b's, use the quotient rule on the c's. What are you going to do with this b with no exponent? Well, just plain old b is the same as b to the first power. So let's use our quotient rule now. We're going to have a, we're going to have a b term, and we're going to have a c term. Let's just figure out what the exponents will be. Over here, the exponents on the a's are 10 and 2. 10 minus 2 is 8. On the b's, the exponents are 3 and 1. 3 minus 1 is 2. And on the c's, the exponents are 5 and 4. 5 minus 4 is 1. So I could write a 1 there, or c to the first power is the same as c. I can just leave it blank. So I think I'll just leave it just like that with no exponent. So our big, ugly problem simplifies down to a to the eighth power times b to the second power times c. So that's the quotient rule of exponents. Just remember, the bases have to be the same. You have to have a division problem, and when you do, you can just take those exponents and subtract them.